We are back with another Gymshark video. Coming at you today with some new Gymshark pieces that just launched in this month of April that I haven't discussed yet. This time we're talking some speed, throwing in that new pause that you guys have seen. Being that these are already on site, comment down below, do you own any of these pieces? Have you tried them out? What are your thoughts? Get in on the conversation. So before we get on to chatting, be sure to hit that subscribe button, especially if you're a huge fan of Gymshark. We do a ton, a ton of Gymshark content on this channel, always talk about the new upcoming releases. And if you haven't already, check out my latest Gymshark video of the new power pieces that have just launched. Did a whole in-depth review on that. In case you're unfamiliar with the Speed Collection, this is Gymshark's signature running collection. If you are a runner, this collection is designed for you. And honestly, even if you're not like me, as you know, if you watch me, I'm nothing even close to a runner, but I still rock some of these speed pieces regularly. For the speed, we're gonna be talking their two-in-one shorts, which I love. Also gonna be talking their high support sports bras, which now that I got them in, I'm like, oh my God, my boobs are never gonna fit in this. Damn. We also have a pair of leggings. Yes, this is Moonstone Blue. A matching t-shirt. And last but not least, we have their zipped windbreakers. Now, if you've been watching my channel or Instagram stories better yet, you know that when it comes to the speed collection, my two go-tos that I wear, even not being a runner, I still wear them all the time, are the two-in-one shorts and their zip jackets. Their leggings and other pieces I don't wear so much because I do love my seamless, not gonna lie, they're adapt collection is my go-to. Nevertheless, we're still touching base on one of everything. And for the pause, we're looking at the flare pants, the matching zip jacket to go along with it. Not gonna lie, I originally was not planning on putting the pause in this video, but I have to keep it real. The pause is one of Gymshark's, in my opinion, one of their best loungewear lines. I actually wear the pause bottoms, like the original pause that came out all the time. I'm wearing it right now because it's so comfortable. These are my sleep jammies. And in case you haven't noticed, flares are making the biggest comeback I've ever seen. I'm so happy to see it. So it would just be a crying shame if we did not discuss Gymshark's flare pants. Thank you very much. Before we get into it, please do know that my Gymshark link is down below for you if you do choose to use it to support this channel. Thank you so much. I will also have everything you see in today's video individually linked below since, again, it is available. You will find my measurements down there as well. Do note that everything you see in today's video is in my true size small. A huge thank you to Gymshark for sending these pieces out my way and for sponsoring today's video. We are going to be starting with the speed. Out of everything the speed has to offer, the one thing I have to grab one of every color in is always the dang speed shorts because they're lined and they're divined. They've actually evolved and come a long way. Every time they launch speed, there's always a two in one short, but it always looks different. I haven't actually had one of their shorts where I'm just like, no way. They make it work with this liner. I think this goes without saying, but I'm really excited to not see the color burgundy in this. <laughs> I love burgundy, but it's April. You do have the staple black, which is cool. I feel like black can go all year round, even in the dead of summer, right? You do have coconut white though. I'm really excited to see coconut white. We have cucumber green. This is a new one, all right? We got a little minty action going on here, especially with this black contrast on the hem, looking like a mint chocolate chip ice cream. And last but not least, we have horizon orange. I'm gonna go ahead, because I keep forgetting the word horizon, and I'm gonna call this mango. When I first saw this on the website, I said, oh my goodness, Halloween's in October. Luckily, luckily, this is actually a few shades off from the signature Halloween orange color, but it does look like a summertime orange in real life. My favorites are the coconut white and the cucumber green. This fabric is so thin and so lightweight, airy, and breathable. I really love the curved hemming overlay on the sides. This way, if you are bending, if you're in a real serious sprint, then there's nothing that's constricting your leg movement. Okay, so these are definitely lower-waisted. Seen some lower back, and I'm seeing my underwear. That's how you know it's not high-waisted, because because I'm wearing high-waisted Gymshark underwear. These are the same from the last video. I promised I washed them. Just kidding, I didn't. So yeah, they're not really high rise. Keep that in mind, they're sitting lower on the hips. I know their older speed shorts had a lot of band here to play with. These, they've definitely limited that. Like there's a very little thin band going on around here. I think if you need a little more space like me, I feel like I could have gotten away with sizing up for a couple reasons. Number one, it wouldn't cinch in as much here now. This is not that bad. Believe me, I've had shorts that dig in and I got this crazy quad muffin going on. This is totally acceptable for me. 
but with the way I am with my thigh area I really I could have gone up a size and got a little more room around this area sizing up would have helped I think in this department too you do have a draw cord that's hidden right on the inner waistband this is something I believe I will have to utilize because I feel it shifting in the back a little bit down look at that that's crazy you don't see my underwear here but you do see it in the back I do notice the back here curving in rather than other loose fit shorts of theirs where it just hangs down real boxy looking. So I like this curved look here. With this glute area, I think I would have benefited from a size up. Yeah, I definitely, see how tight that is? Oh my goodness. Got a little bit of room here, a little flow to it, but the back, the back is where it's just like, like saran wrap to my glutes. So ultimately, if your measurements are similar to mine, especially in the glute department, Maybe size up. I think, I think, I think that's what I would go with. Here we are with the speed leggings. Moonstone blue, had to grab this one. The other two were black and navy blue. Moonstone blue is absolutely stunning. It's like a periwinkle almost. It's kind of a blend between a lilac purple and a sky blue. It's gorgeous. So the speed leggings were never one of my favorite. They're, they're not my go-to. They're more of like a, a yogi feel, more of just kind of on the slippery side of anything. You do have the front seam. Like there's things about the speed lemon that I, lemon? What the? speed leggings that I don't quite prefer. Like I said, I'm a seamless kind of gal overall. I am opening up to the seam thing, but I mean, if I'm wearing Gymshark, it probably wouldn't be speed leggings. That's just me though. So they went with the theme of the black contrast on everything. You can see it right on the reflective logo on the back here on the band. You can see little tiny patches on the knee area. Oh my God, this is so hard to get, dude. All right, I finally got them up. <laughs> I have to tell you, the band was very hard to get past my hips. I see what they're doing. They want a little bit more of a tighter band to prevent any slippage while you're running. So I can see that, but boy, was that a struggle. I'd probably size up. I feel like this seam, I could have just done so good without it. I mean, really. Because of this seam, I'm getting a dreaded CT and it's just a little overbearing for me. Hmm. You have an okay amount of stretch. Like it's not the stretchiest legging, but with that being said, it's also higher in the support department. There's a nice moderate compression going on here. Didn't think it would. I felt low support when touching it, but as I'm wearing it, you can definitely feel it supporting your legs really nice. If you're a runner, this is gonna support your legs very nicely. Length is pretty good too. I'm five foot three. These are not squat proof at all. You shouldn't really need that. You shouldn't have an issue if you're just using these for running. But if you're thinking about buying these for the gym, maybe grab the navy or the black. And just to throw on top, if you're in need of a real lightweight summer wicking type of t-shirt, if you like to wear this at the gym, a little bit of a cover up, this is beautiful. There's no cutouts or anything, but half of the back of this t-shirt is complete mesh. So you are just gonna be a breathable, ventilating machine when you're running. It's nice and stretchy, ooh, extremely lightweight and silky soft. I highly suggest if you are in need of a summer t-shirt, nothing dense like cotton trapping heat, speed's where it's at. Check out these high support sports bras. <sighs> My 34 Bs in these won't know what to do. They're just gonna be floating around aimlessly. There's no way in hell that my boobs are gonna be filling out these pre-molded cups. My girls are gonna be bouncing around in this like a dang pinball machine. <sighs> so with that being said, if you got a bigger chest area and you need high support sports bras, you need to check out the speed. All right, my boobs are actually fitting this better than I anticipated, I'm surprised. First thing I noticed though, it's stiff. You can definitely feel that molding and I especially feel the stiffness right around here. So it's kind of, I feel like all day wear, I'm gonna start getting irritated right around this region. I do think if you need a crazy high support, like my, my girls, they're really not shifting or moving around. I do like and appreciate the thicker straps. You do have adjustments back here, keyhole design. You actually have, which is odd, pockets on the bra, like tiny little pockets on the side. Which side is it? Can't find it, but it's there. I personally wouldn't size down on this because I couldn't even imagine it being more restricted right in this region. So overall, yeah, I would give it a true to size. Check out the speed, especially you got that reflective strip down here. You do a lot of outdoor kinds of workouts. Couldn't hurt. Here we have the speed windbreaker jackets. There's two colors available, black and coconut white. I had to snag both because like I said, 
I live for the speed zip ups. I think this is such a good summertime running jacket or jacket in general, which I will be wearing. I'm absolutely wearing this to the gym. Like when I get to the gym, not even a warm up in, but just so I'm not walking in a sports bra in front of my apartment complex and everywhere else. This is a good overthrow jacket for me when I hit up that grocery store afterwards and grab that grub. This is not a stretchy material, keep in mind, but there's so much space between you and this jacket when you're wearing it. And I don't really think you, you really need that extra stretch. Check out this zip. I was like, what's going on on this collar and why is it so heavy? There's actually a hidden hood in here. So you could zip it away if you don't need it, if you want more of that collar neckline. Literally feels like I'm wearing air. Very comfortable, you see this? There's no restriction whatsoever. Even though this, like I said, this material is not stretchy. You see how like it's stiff? But there's so much room, a large part of that has to do with this ventilation and this open cut armpit area. I really think all these cutouts are helping with the mobility factor in this. Without this, I feel like it would just, I'd feel like I'm in a straight jacket. I think they did something right with the contoured seams. This is giving such a sporty look to this jacket. It really is breaking up such a monotone piece. Love that little thin stretchy cuff, but it's not a heavy, big, thick rib that's just kind of bogging you down. Everything was thought out in this jacket. Even this hood back here that's compacted, I'm not feeling it heavy or uncomfortable at all. First of all, let's see if I can get it out by myself while I'm wearing the jacket. Okay, so I'm sitting here, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, it starts to rain. Oh, oh God, no, not to rain. So you do have a really nice draw cord here on the waist. I actually don't see any pockets on this, which I don't even think that's necessary because what on earth could you actually put in here? Oh, Gymshark, you almost got me. You almost did, but you did not. It's the tiniest little mesh pocket I've ever seen. <gasps> Oh, stop it. I would always grab a larger size if you're in between, just to ensure that you're comfortable. So overall thoughts, really love the jacket. The shorts are dope if I sized up. Their speed zip jackets never let me down. This is great for the summertime. We have the pause flare pants and zip up jacket in the color Maya blue. So it's almost like a sea foam green color, a mixture between green and blue. They have this color and black. They've come out with quite a few pauses. I love the original, like I said before. As they evolved, they made like the last launch was more of that waffle print legging. That was cool for athleisure, not necessarily something I'm sleeping in because I don't like sleeping in tight things. So I'm really happy to see them back with something a little bit looser, a more loungy. They still kept their signature ribbed look. So happy to see Gymshark hopping on the flare bandwagon. But let's see on my five foot three bum how they hold up with the length. All right, so the Maya blue is so pretty. Look at it up against the Moonstone blue. Definitely more of a green. If there's anything that you should grab from this entire haul, it's this. These are extremely stretchy and comfortable. Look how cute these flares are. They're, they're quite the bell bottom, if I do say so myself. The length is acceptable. I mean, it's kind of long on me. You can see it's gonna definitely trail around the apartment. It's gonna see some stuff. I'll try to keep my floors clean. Can't guarantee though, especially when you got bays walking around. I think if you wanted a real tight fit, tighter, like real skin tight, you could size down because it's that stretchy and comfortable. Um, I wouldn't, I like this fit very much so. I like the little bit of extra room around the groin area. I like that you do have a draw cord to snatch the waist a little bit. Plain back here, nothing really to see. And I hope you guys know, I told you, I wear the paws literally every single night, the original paws. Do keep in mind, you need to wash this like you do active wear. Do not, just because you lounge in this and you don't work out in it, does not mean it's not like active wear, where you could just throw it into a, a hot wash and a hot dry. This needs to be washed just like your active wear, which should be on a cool wash and an air dry only. So keep that in mind, because you don't want this. This is luxurious. You don't want this to get nasty. Here's where they upgraded the paws a bit. You have embroidered shark head logos now. I think every and any ribbed piece set should always come with an embroidered logo. You actually can't have a print that will be sustainable over time. The print's gonna just peel right off because it's not laying flat against a piece of material. 
so the ribbed with a nice stitched embroidered logo ain't going anywhere. I would not wear this to sleep in exactly because of the metal zipper. I wouldn't find that very comfortable. I'm a stomach sleeper. This is just gonna be digging in and I'm gonna wake up with zipper prints all over me. Can't have that, but this is so cute to wake up in the morning, throw it over if you're a little cold, grab your coffee, go out on your porch, grab your newspaper, whatnot. This is pretty much what I'm living in now is matching lounge sets, matching jogger sets and things like that. So again, you do have a full zip, really nice collar, a little bit sophisticated. It is a little bit looser. Again, I think you could size down in this if you wanted to, especially this top because you do have more of a boxier, almost bat wing type of look here. I'm not seeing any pockets. However, nothing, not even on the inside. We are closing the show with the open back crop long sleeve top. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna catch me sleeping in something like this. I actually sleep in super baggy t-shirts every night. But if this isn't such a pretty look, I feel like this is actually more of something I would wear as a nice stylish piece that I'm gonna wear to dinner or something. Is that weird? This is a showy kind of top, but yet it's so comfortable. If you're just trying to keep it super casual, stretchy, comfy, but you wanna look sexy too at the same time, nothing wrong with that. However, this is super see-through. You can see the Gymshark logo on the bra underneath. So keep that in mind, you, you need to wear something underneath this. There's no support. This is just a little thin top. Appreciate you all for watching. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you in my next video.